I gotta say, what another great start to the day. And Monument Valley, well, that was monumental. Once again, I ended up finding myself a bit lost. Now, this time, not as bad as New Mexico, though. But I had to take some time to figure out which road I was actually supposed to be on, and then get myself underway again. of the day was Four Corners Monument. This was a first time visit for me. Now if you don't know, this is where the four corners of Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico meet in that one little spot right there. Only place in the United States that this happens. Alright, this isn't uh, what you want to see on a trip. some issue with my positive. It's loose, but I can't turn it anymore. It could be popped all off. Gotta take the seat off. I can play around with it, and it starts. I don't know if there's a grounding issue, or I don't know. But it's a hassle to take the seat off, because now I'm gonna put all this back. That, uh, it looked like Jim had a big issue on the way. He had the whole rear end off, so I won't complain too much about this. Once I got the battery issue sorted out, my next destination was Shiprock. You can see it way out in the distance, over there. Shiprock is located in the northwestern part of New Mexico. It's the remnant of an explosive volcanic eruption that occurred over 30 million years ago. It stands nearly 1,600 feet tall. Shiprock, incredible, just incredible. You know, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Devil's Tower out in North Dakota. That's got a lot more uh, structure to it. This is incredibly just jagged. You can't see the other side, but just jagged. It looks like it just shot up from the earth. I can't tell, can't tell by the, uh, the video, but this is a hell of an angle. Uh, I'll keep the camera on just in case it's entertaining. <sighs> All right.
my footing. No fucking way I'm gonna be picking this thing up. Alright. I told you it'd be entertaining. I was able to stay ahead of the rainstorms. Now coming up is a first for me. Welcome to colorful Colorado. My first visit to Colorado. Wait, are those the Rocky Mountains? I think John Denver's full of shit. Talk about Rocky Mountain High. Those aren't very high. The first tourist stop in Colorado for me was Mesa Verde. And I have to say, the roads in the park were pretty fantastic. The views were amazing. Verde, which is Spanish for green table, offers a spectacular look into the lives of the ancestral Pueblo people who made their home over 700 years ago, and they lived there from 600 to 1300 AD. Oh, a little bit of tourist advice. If you want to take the tour among the ruins, make reservations way in advance. Their waiting list was literally days. Finally time to meet up with my friends. Steven, Will, Jim, Rick, Larry, Big John, myself, and Patrick. We're ready for our Colorado adventure. I got my hotel set up for the night, I mean my tent. And Big John, he hit the grill and fed us all. What a great time. We all sat back, relaxed from our ride out to Colorado, had a few beers and laughs. Can't thank Big John enough for his hospitality. Amazing man. He had even ordered some fireworks for us.